If I have a problem, say that I'm obese, uh, I feel very unfit, I feel asthmatic when I climb upstairs, etc. This is a problem I have, I feel bad, I feel discomfort, I feel self-regret, I eat too much, that's a problem. A solution to this problem, someone could argue, obviously it's to exercise, to shift my nutrition to something more healthy, be more active in my daily life, but this is something I well know, I want to do it, I really want to do it, I really try to do it, and it just doesn't happen. And because it doesn't happen, it doesn't solve my problem. So is the implementation of a possible solution part of the solution of the problem, which means that shifting my lifestyle in terms of nutrition and uh, exercise is not a solution for me to this particular problem. There's something missing or it could be done differently. I mean, all I want is to probably feel more satisfied and happy with myself. So if, for example, I would find the person that would make me super happy and compensate for my misery, that would also be considered as a solution. Or if I would read a book by which I would change my mindset and uh, treat my body and my lifestyle differently or if I would I, I don't know there could be different solutions than the apparent possible one and the reason I'm thinking about it and I think it's worth to make a video about is that you know we say for example our society is ignorant and self-destructive and young people are uh, totally fucked up and the solution could be proper quality education uh, implemented in a sustainable way, this, that, and that, and that. So if we do that, which we can do, we would solve many problems. And then we don't do it, because apparently these bullet points are not enough. Is the incorporation of a way to implement the bullet points, making something that is not actually solving our problem, the whole solution, like when it's done, it's, it's very hard to say it's a solution before you solve the problem with it. And then again, you can see some critical little aspects of the actual problem process that solved your problem that were not part of the initial idea of what the solution is to you. I'm going to stop talking now, but really think about it. If we tell to ourselves, this is the solution, this is the solution, and I suck because this is the solution and I cannot solve my problem, but there is a solution and that's the solution and I know it, but I cannot do it. It's not my solution. It's not the way to solve my problem. It might be part of the way to do it, but there's something missing. And instead of repeating to ourselves, let's do this, let's do this, let's do the thing we never do, we'd better think out of the box and find different ways that would actually work solving our problem. Because we need the problem to be solved. We don't need to follow particular instructions if they don't work for us or if somehow we cannot follow them in the first place. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.